really be worried. Okay, we're going to do this just another time here. We got some more um, uh, statements, ordinary English statements. We want to translate them into standard categorical statements. Uh, first one here: Every fish is an animal. One of the issues here is we don't have a standard quantifier. We don't see an all, no, or some, and we don't have a standard copula. We have is. A standard copula would include are and are not. But pretty clearly, every fish is an animal is going to be um, equivalent to all fish are animals. So we could translate that all, and allow me again some abbreviation, all fish are animals. Fish, animals are plural terms, functioning as a subject term and the predicate term. Copula would be an acceptable, um, there are an acceptable copula, and we've got a good quantifier. Number two, only animals are fish. This is making a broad claim, so it's clearly a universal claim. So we know we're going to use either all or no. But what this is saying is every single fish is an animal. You might need to just kind of stare at that a little bit. The word only is probably the most despicable word in the English language. A loathsome thing. But let's think about it. Only animals are fish. Only animals are fish. That's telling me if you're a fish, you're going to be an animal. Okay. All fish are animals. And that would be in standard form. We've got all as a quantifier. Fish, animals would be um, plural nouns, again, working fine as um, terms. Copula, a perfectly okay, um, or R is a good copula. So can I ask a stupid question? Ask many questions. Oh, I don't have my mic on, do I? He's going he's gonna to ask a question. I'll repeat it. Just a minute. Oh, well, he's going to turn his mic on. This is working. Okay. All right. Okay, can I ask a stupid question? Sure. So the F stands for? Fish. And the A stands for? Animals. <laughs> Oh, but I already said that. That was what would make. <laughs> okay, well, we'll say it again. <clears throat> Number three, you won't find a dog that is a fish. You won't find a dog that's a fish. No dogs are fish. That's why this is true. Then we're going to translate this no. Dogs, D is for dogs, are fish. Okay. In standard form. Now, would this be a counterexample to that? You go out here on Puget Sound. Yes. Kind of spread your arm here if you can show them. That's, it's out there. That's Puget Sound. You'll find all kinds of fish called dogfish. Yes, you might. There are dogfish. It's it's a type of shark. Small shark. So would that be a counterexample to this? No, because a dogfish would not be a, a dog. <laughs> so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> okay. Nor do they bite you. They're pretty pretty gentle creatures. They don't bark either? They don't bark or right. bite. So we got it. Covered. We're covered. Right. Okay. And plus, these can be false. They don't even have to be true statements. Oh, All we're trying true. to do is get them into standard form. That's right. Okay. If something's a bear, then it's an animal. If something's a bear, then it's an animal. All bears are animals. All bears are animals. Because it's saying that if something's true of every single bear. If something's going to be a bear, then that's going to guarantee it's an animal. This would be the equivalent of it. There's a thousand different things, ways you can say something in English. Uh, what we want to do is get all these different things in English into one of these four standard patterns. And once we get them into four standard patterns, again, we, just, we have techniques that we can learn that it's going to be a whole lot easier working with these four rather than just all the plurality of English. Yeah, in other words, we could add, we could say this. The, the rules of categorical logic are very precise, but they're designed to operate on just these four standard forms of categorical syllogism. If we were to rewrite the rules so they could operate on any English sentence, the rules would have to be more complex. Yeah. So first we regiment the language into the four forms, and then we can work the rules on them in a more simple way. That's why we're, we have to translate from non-standard to standard. It's regimenting our language. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mark.